If I have to ask you, where do you want to work in 2024? As a scientist or a researcher, probably most of you will reply the top three companies of your country. Let me know in the comment section if I'm right or not. What is that company? Let me know which company you want to work for in 2024 or beyond. Let me know in the comment section. But hey, this video is all about a list. So we are going to come up with a list of top 20 companies, biotech and pharmaceutical companies, where you can work and they provide excellent salary, incentives, and facilities and in fact they have been ranked by Science AAS journal as the top 20 biotech employers of 2024. So let's quickly dive into that and find out what is that company, where exactly they started and what uh, they're doing. So starting with number 20. So the number 20 on the list is Abvi. So Abvi is headquartered in North Chicago, US and they were established in 2013. And they have been researching on immunology, oncology and neuroscience uh, including treatments of autoimmune diseases. So the Abway is on uh, rank 20. Followed by that, rank 19 goes to Merck and Company, headquartered at Rave USA, and they were established in 1891. Fairly old company, but they have been working on various uh, equipments, vaccines, cancer treatment, animal health, and whatnot. So that's Merck and Company. Company at the 18th rank is Beringer on Ingelheim and they are headquartered at Ingelheim and Rhein, Germany and it started in the year of 1885. So you can see most of these companies are like fairly old, 200 or 100 years old. So Beringer Ingelheim now is uh, one of the largest companies in Germany actually. They are working on respiratory diseases, me metabolic diseases and immunology. Followed by that, the 17th rank uh, for the best employer goes to Merck KGAA and they are headquartered in Germany again and they've established in the year of 1668, way back, this is one of the oldest companies. They're working in healthcare, life sciences, and performance material with a strong focus on oncology and immunology. So that's one of the companies where you can work for. Now the 16th company which we have got is called as Eli Lilly. So Eli Lilly is the company uh, headquartered at Indianapolis, USA. They've established in 1876, one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in US, and they are ranked at 16th position in terms of giving the facilities and salary to the employees. So globally, this is a rank which is global rank. So 16th rank is Eli Lilly. Now the 15th rank, I should be proud to say, is from for an Indian company and they're focused on diabetology, oncology, autoimmune diseases and neurodegeneration. And uh, they have been working in generic pharmaceuticals, including over-the-counter drugs and that's Dr. Dr. Reddy's. So Dr. Reddy's is one of the companies based out of Hyderabad and uh, they were incorporated in 1984 and Dr. Reddy is, is at 15th rank. Now followed by that, 14th rank goes to GalaxoSmithKline GSK. So just GSK is headquartered in UK, established in the year of 2000, and they have been doing broad research on infectious diseases, respiratory diseases, and vaccines. So that's GSK for you at rank 14. Now the 13th rank goes to Novo Nordisk, which was started in the year 1989 and uh, headquartered in Denmark. Novo Nordisk is one of the biggest companies there and which specializes in diabetes care, obesity and biopharmaceuticals. So that's Novo Nordisk at 13th position followed by Moderna, the most modern company we have got. They are into mRNA therapeutics and headquartered in Massachusetts, USA. They were established fairly uh, just 14 years ago and that's in 2010. One of the most modern company, I should say Moderna and one of the most forward-looking companies, definitely, but yes, it is getting a rank of 12th. Now, followed by that, we have Abbott. So, Abbott is in Chicago, USA and uh, established in the year of 1888. And uh, Abbott is focusing on a wide range of healthcare solutions such as diagnostics, uh, medical devices and nutrition. Now, above at Abbott, the 10th rank for the best employers in the biotech industry goes to Genentech which is doing research on various um, areas like oncology, immunology and personalized medicine and uh, Genentech was established in 1976 and there are a lot of companies who really are uh, behind Genentech's talent because Genentech, uh, the, the pool of scientists which Genentech has, probably none of them have. So Genentech is one of the most sought after company in the US as well as globally. The number ninth position which we have got, again, I should be proud to say that it is to Biocon Limited and they are headquartered right here in Bengaluru, India, established in 1978. Biocon focuses on biopharmaceuticals, including diabetes, oncology, and autoimmune disease. So that's Biocon for you. Now the 
eighth rank goes to Roche and Roche uh, as you know is one of the largest companies based out of Basel, Switzerland and uh, established in 1996. Roche is doing broad research on oncology, immunology, infectious diseases and neuroscience. Roche is the eighth rank most sought after company for the biotech scientists. Now followed by that seventh one is Alinilum Pharmaceuticals which is uh, based out of USA and it was incorporated in the year of 2002 and they're working on RNA interference that is called RNA eye treatment for rare genetic diseases. Again, um, you get very good career there if you uh, join Alinilum. So Alinilum Biopharmaceuticals gets seventh rank. The sixth rank goes to Sparks Therapeutics headquartered in Philadelphia, USA and they were you know incorporated probably just 11 years ago in 2013 and uh, Spark Therapeutics is known for gene therapy and genetic diseases including blindness and hemophilia. So Spark Therapeutics gets the sixth rank. The fifth rank goes to Syngenta Group which is working on agricultural biotechnology focusing on seed and crop protection. Again based out of Switzerland established 2000 the year 2000. Now fourth rank goes to a company in Boston USA and the name of the company is Vertex Pharmaceutical. Again one of the highest paying job which you can get is in Vertex established in the year of 1989. Vertex Pharmaceuticals is working on serious diseases with main research on cystic fibrosis. So Vertex is again a place to go. Third rank goes to Insight which is Wilmington US and they are working on oncology drugs and they were established just uh, 22 years ago and in the year of 2002. So Insight is one company where you can work for in the top three global companies in biotech. Now the second rank goes to Regenron which is headquartered in New York USA again probably the highest paid scientists go to Regenron and uh, established in the year of 1988. They're working on cancer therapy, working on immunology, oncology and rare diseases. So that's one company where you can go for. The next and number one position which goes to Insmed and uh, it's headquartered in Bridgewater USA. They are working on rare diseases established in the year of 1988 and uh, this particular company has been uh, focusing entirely on medical research such as molecular biology, genetics and infectious diseases. So this is the complete list of top companies in the biotech sector employers ranking as per Science AAS journal. Let me know in the comment section which company you want to work for and I'll make a special video just for you if you are in the top 10 commenters in the next few hours. So go ahead comment yourself let me know which company I should make a special video so that you can get in there and get a job as a scientist. So see you there in the next one till then keep shining and yes start planning to get into any of these companies. All the best. Take care.